I am excited and privileged to be here with you today. And I want to share with you how you can overcome change to achieve greatness in life. Not only in life, but personally. How you can just really go to the next level despite what you encounter in this lifetime. I'm going to share seven behavioral characteristics that you need to embrace in order to be able to move forward and be effective and achieve greatness through change. But before I do that, I want to share with you my own personal story. I think at the end of the day, you always want to be able to relate and have a better understanding of what's going on in people's lives so you can see where the connectivity is. And everything was always in flux. Everything was always moving. And I had to figure out where was I going to be during this process? Was I going to allow change to dictate my very existence? Or was I going to look at my situation and the changes that kept happening and make the most of it? I decided to make the most of it, everybody. All of you here today stand at the precipice of greatness. Your administration is telling you there is a new day. And with that new day is a new opportunity. I decided to get focused for greatness. At the time, I didn't know what that was going to be. At the time, I didn't know how it was going to end up. At the time. But I began to set goals. I began to think through, what would it look like if I am successful? What would it look like if I achieve the dreams that I have every day? What would it look like if I had peace in my life? instead of chaos. <laughs> what's all that laughter for? Do not allow what's going on around you to change all these other things to dictate who you are. You must stand resolute that you are gonna move forward regardless of what's happening around you. Finally, went to the New England Patriots to play in the National Football League. This was a dream come true. At the end of the day, I thought to myself, okay, this is it. Never going back to poverty, never going to have any more issues, just going to be out in the forefront doing all these good things. But life typically doesn't work that way. You're going to have challenges, you're going to have struggles, but it's all about how you deal with it, how you allow it to impact you, whether positively or negatively. You know, because even though I made it to the National Football League, that was just the beginning. That was just the beginning. And said, you know, you're not any different than us. You're not gonna do anything different. What makes you think you are better than we are? When I would come back home after my injury, the guys would say, hey, I knew you'd be back. They're speaking death over my life. It required courage for me to say, uh-uh. I'm not going to do this. I'm going to seek something different. I'm going to seek to be better than what I have ever experienced. And that is a daily effort. That is a daily effort. So it's going to cost you courage. But at the end of the day, that is a small price to pay for your success. Is it not? It's been such a challenge because when I go in there, we actually have three services on Sundays and I'm, we actually have three services this Sunday coming up. Mm -hmm. When you go in there and you see those looks of disenfranchisement, these, these men and these ladies are so sad, so uh, lonely, 
empty, impacted by being in this situation. They've made mistakes. No one is going to question that. Uh, when people look at them, they see the mistakes first. But when we come in there, it's an opportunity for us to be able to share Christ with them so they have a greater understanding that they can receive forgiveness mm -hmm. if they would truly open up their hearts for that. And that's all we do. We go in and we bring that message to them and people are truly changed. Attended one of Dr. Carthen's workshops and it was amazing. <laughs> Good evening, this is Evelyn McKinney giving you a shout out from United Way of Greater Toledo. Just got finished listening to Dr. Carthen speak and he was awesome. The only problem, not enough people in the room. There's so much, uh, so many levels to his message and there's so much that people needed to hear that I wish the room would have been filled two, three, four times the size. But that only gives us an opportunity to have him back again. Thanks, Dr. Carthen and his lovely family. Hi, my name is Scott Garcher. I'm the manager of operations here at FedEx Custom Critical. And we just got done going through the Socratic Circles uh, module with Dr. Carthen. And, and uh, today was a good day uh, with my leadership team. And, and we're able to unpack some. Uh, uh, some discussions with relevant topics that my leadership team faces today. Uh, Dr. Carthen did a great job of stopping the conversation and, and, and making it real to situations that we had going on here at FedEx. So it wasn't just the theory, but it was also an application. I'm Jay Barnes, president of Bethel University. I've just sat through a wonderful, challenging, uplifting chapel service led by Dr. Jason Carthen. Dr. Carthen encouraged us, gave us his own life story, telling us about God's work in his life and really connected with our students, with our faculty and staff as well. He helped us think about the difference between our future and our destiny and what it means to have a purpose in life, to follow it with passion, to deal with perseverance when things get tough and to come together with a group of partners in order to make life happen well. <laughs>